Hey guys, it's Andy from Tinker Crate, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own mini medieval siege engine, a trebuchet. Here's what comes in your Tinker Crate. So you have a bunch of wooden laser cut pieces to build the structure of your trebuchet, some wooden dowels and a firing pin, a ping pong ball, a pouch, screw and wing nut, rubber bands, two long strings, one medium string, one short string. Then you'll also from home need some weights. I have a bunch of rocks here, but you can also use batteries or coins work well too. The first thing we're gonna do is build our trebuchet base. And these are the pieces you'll need. So let's start with the three in the center. We're gonna slot them together like so. Then we're gonna take these two pieces over here, right on the sides like this. What we did is we just made the chute that the ping pong ball is gonna slide through in these side support pieces and slide them in like this. Ta-da, base is done. Next, we're gonna build the counterweight. The counterweight is pretty easy. Here are the pieces you'll need. This is what's going to hold your weights in the trebuchet. Next, we're gonna build our lever arm and our firing pin. So let's start off with our felt pouch, our two long strings, and our short string. When you get your felt pouch, it might look something like this. There are holes in it, however, so both sides should actually look like this. To get the holes, try rolling, and you'll see that the little circles pop out. In total, there should be six holes on each side. Once you have the holes popped out, you wanna fold your fabric pouch in half. You'll see that the holes should line up. Then take one of your long strings, thread it through the top two holes, just like this. Next, you wanna tie a knot right with the very ends of the string. Next, you wanna take your short string and put it through the two middle holes in the pouch. Tie a knot with the ends to make a nice loose circle. Next, take your second long string and thread it through the other two holes. Now, before you tie the ends of this one, you actually want to take your long laser cut piece and thread the string through the second hole. Then you want to tie the knot. And you want to make sure that the circle that you've just created by tying this knot is the same size as the first circle you tied with the other long string. Next, we're going to add these four components. So first take your hexagonal piece and slot it right into the long piece. Then you wanna take this little firing latch, line it up with the last hole. Take your screw and slide it through the two holes. And then take your wing nut and screw it on the other side. What we're doing here is creating a release latch for our trebuchet. Last thing we're gonna do is make our firing pin. This is super simple. Just take your medium string and your firing rod, poke the string through the hole, and then tie a knot and you're done. Now let's put it all together. So take your lever arm, your short dowel, and your counterweight. Slide the dowel through one side of the counterweight, through the last hole in your lever arm, and then through the other side of the counterweight. Then to keep the dowel in place, take a rubber band and roll it onto each side of the dowel. Now let's add our whole counterweight assembly to our base. Take your long dowel, slide it through the far side, and roll on a rubber band. Then, slide the rod through the second hole, and then add a second rubber band to the other side of the dowel. These rubber bands are gonna help keep your counterweight assembly centered. Keep rolling the rubber bands until your counterweight assembly is right in the center. To keep our dowel in place, you wanna add two end caps. Last, you wanna take whatever weights you found around your house, I grabbed some rocks from outside and put them in your counterweight. Then you've completed your trebuchet. All right, now let's learn how to fire this thing. First, you wanna slip the second large loop over the very end of the lever arm on your trebuchet. Take the pouch, pull it through all the way underneath your counterweight. Hold on to the circle of string and then put your firing pin through the laser cut wood, the string, and then again through the wood. Now your trebuchet is locked and loaded. To fire your trebuchet, put one hand on the base to hold it steady, and then grab the string on your firing pin. Then give it a quick tug, ta-da! You can change how your trebuchet fires by changing your weights, changing the string lengths, or you can even try firing something besides your ping pong ball. Changing the angle of your release hook also drastically changes how your trebuchet will fire. Loosening the wing nut, and then moving it back and forth. Then you tighten the wing nut again to keep it in place. 
If your trebuchet isn't firing quite how you'd like, here are a couple easy checks you can do. You want to make sure that the ping pong ball is snugly in the pouch before you fire. You want to make sure you pull your firing pin straight out. If you pull up, your trebuchet is going to come with it. You also want to make sure that your string isn't caught on your wing nut or behind your release hook. Your trebuchet fires when the loop of string slides off the release hook. If it can't slide, it won't fire. Try setting up a competition with a friend. Set up a target and see who can hit it first, or see who can fire the farthest or highest. Hope this video helped you build your trebuchet. Check out tinkercrate.com, our other videos, and please subscribe. I'll see you next time. Oh no! No! <laughs>